everyone. Welcome to my class. Our lesson for today is English 6, Part 3, Week 1. Presenting coherent and comprehensive viewpoint on an issue. Our objective is to present a coherent, comprehensive report on differing viewpoints on an issue. Before we proceed to our lesson, let's have a review first. Can you tell the difference between fact and opinion? Fact is something that is true and can be supported by real information from reliable sources. Opinion is someone's expression of his or her own thoughts, personal belief, or judgment that is not founded on proof or certainty. Sometimes they begin with the phrase, I think that, I believe that. Let's answer this exercise. Directions. Identify whether the following statements are fact or opinion. Here are the correct answers. Number one, I think all the learners in Paranaque chose online learning this school year. Correct answer is opinion. Number two, the modules will be ready before the school opens according to Secretary Briones. The answer is fact. Number three, I think that studying at home is more fun than going to school. Opinion. Number four, my teacher will, will check all my activity sheets even if we will not have face-to-face -face learning. Fact. Number five, I believe that the pandemic will end soon. Opinion. Now, let's discuss our lesson for today. What is viewpoint? Viewpoint is a way of looking at something. For example, if you believe ABS-CBN followed the law and must continue to air its shows, this belief is an example of your viewpoint on the issue of ABS-CBN franchise renewal. Others may have different viewpoint as yours. To be able to present a coherent and comprehensive report on differing viewpoint on an issue, you must follow a set of rules or requirements. Number one, the report must have a single generalization that is a topic sentence. Number two, the body of the report should provide more specific information that supports the topic sentence. Example, on the issue of suspending classes until a vaccine for COVID-19 is found. Classes should continue even in the absence of COVID-19 vaccine because other means of learning can be adapted. This is the topic sentence. The Department of Education is pushing for blended learning which includes online, modular, and limited face-to-face -face mode of learning depending on the needs and capacity of the learner. Suspending classes can affect the future of many children and pushing it for is a disservice to them. Disservice to them. This is an information that supports the topic sentence or the body.
Now let's apply what we have learned. Directions. Put a star if the sentence is a topic sentence and a check if it is a supporting statement or part of the body of the report. Example. Letter A. Animals are having difficulty finding homes. Letter B. Population on Earth is steadily increasing. Letter C. More homes are being built. Letter D. Roads are replacing arid lands to connect provinces to cities. And letter E. There is no control in the cutting of trees in forests. The correct answers are letter A, check. Letter B, star. Letter C, check. Letter D, check. And letter E, check. So, the topic sentence is letter B. And the supporting statements are letter A, C, D, and E. Let's apply directions. Put a star if the sentence is a topic sentence and a check if it is a supporting statement or part of the body of a report. The correct answers are number one, letter A, B, C, and D are the supporting statements, and letter E is the topic sentence. Number two, the topic sentence is letter A, and the supporting statements are letter B, C, D, and E. Next, let's analyze the given pictures. Directions. Create a topic sentence that shows your viewpoint on the following pictures. Note, the first one is done for you. For number one, the pictures uh, show abandoned dogs. So, an example topic sentence can be, Animals should be loved, not abandoned. You can also think of other topic sentences based on the given pictures. Now try answering this. Here are the possible answers. You can think uh, of a lot of topic sentences based on the given pictures. For number two, topic sentence can be cyberbullying has very damaging consequences to individuals. Number three, an example topic sentence can be wearing a mask is life saving. For number four, topic sentence can be addiction to gadgets can destroy our body, mind, and life. And number five, topic sentence can be good sleep is important for your mind. Now, let's evaluate the given sentences and answer this exercise. Directions. Read the topic sentences found in column A, 
match the topic sentences to the following supporting details in column B to create a coherent, comprehensive report on the given issue. The first one is done for you. Number one, farmers should use organic fertilizers instead of synthetic fertilizers. So the correct answer is letter A. Fruits and vegetables grown using organic fertilizers are healthier. Organic fruits and vegetables do not have harmful chemicals that can cause cancer. Organic fruits and vegetables contain more vitamins and minerals, which strengthen the immune system. Try answering numbers 2 to 5. and 6 to 10. Here are the correct answers. Number 2, letter J. Number 3, Letter F, number 4, letter E, number 5, B, number 6, C, number 7, D, number 8, I, number 9, H, and number 10, G. So that's it for today's class. Thank you for joining and see you next time. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll get updated when I post my next videos. Thanks for watching!